Get out of the city and into an adventure that moves the whole family. Prepare to be moved. The all-new Nissan X-Trail. On air, online, and on your smart speaker. Dirty Blue, Stocking Thrills, Barney Cools, Nude Lucy, and a Pally Lioness. SAFM News Briefing. Hi, it's Dan Flank here with the latest. The budget surplus was a little over $4 billion at budget time, then it jumped to close to $19 billion. Now Treasurer Jim Chalmers says it's likely to be even more than that. We now expect uh, that the surplus for last year uh, will be around $20 billion and likely north of $20 billion. Despite the news, the government's not working on a new cost of living relief package, arguing that banking the benefits will be more beneficial for the country moving forward. Federal police have charged two men in relation to the discovery of close to a quarter of a tonne of cocaine found hidden in the hull of a yacht in Townsville in Queensland. The pair were arrested at an apartment in the ACT. It's also claimed close to 300 grand in cash was recovered. AFP Detective Superintendent Adrian Telfer says investigations continue. This investigation is still ongoing. Um, and obviously the origin of this cocaine is something that we'll be inquiring into. Authorities are investigating following a suspected shark attack in Western Australia. It's thought it's played out at a beach near Margaret River in the state's southwest. One person has been taken to hospital in a stable condition. Also today, Stan Grant's officially stepped down as the host of the ABC's Q&A program. He took a leave of absence earlier this year after becoming the target of racist abuse. A desperate search continues in Indonesia after a ferry sunk leaving at least 50 15 dead, it's thought 40 were on board. And Barbie's broken box office records in Australia with the biggest opening weekend so far this year, raking in a whopping $21.5 million. After this, there is no turning back. You sip the red can, the story ends. You sip the black can, you enter dreamland. And I show you just how good the truth can taste. Max Taste Challenge. Port Adelaide's challenging Willie Rioli's two-match ban for striking. If unsuccessful, the charge will rule the forward out of this weekend's showdown with the Crows. The case will be heard tomorrow. And Aussie skipper Pat Cummins has reaffirmed his sides focused on winning the Ashes despite already securing the urn. Former great Mike Arcee telling Fox Sports he expects spinner Todd Murphy to be considered for the final test. And maybe the conditions didn't suit him as much in the test match he played in England, but perhaps at the Oval it, it, it might take, you know, look, the surface might look like it's going to take some more turns, so he might play a part. Buying or selling rural or residential properties, Miller, Juan and John. This is SAFM Weather. A shower or two for the rest of Monday across the limestone coast, 14 degrees the top, down to a low of 7 tonight, then cloudy in a top of 15 degrees tomorrow. And from car trips to meal times to bedtime, Listener offers audio entertainment kids love. Download the Listener app now and listen for free.